What more do you want? There's still things that I need to be doing in this house. If I don't want Neo to become a distraction, God sees my heart as the days go by, the more I like Neo. On today's episode, we're going to finalize the events that took place on day nine, which was yesterday, and then go into today. We've had some important and interesting conversations in the house, and then we've had the housemates play a little game this evening. We also have them preparing more and more for their wager task tomorrow. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. If this is not your first time, mwah, I really appreciate you. If this is your first time, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell right beside it just so you get notifications every time I post. Everybody, click the thumb up button. Thank you so much. The time the day in day nine, there was so much tension in the house. If you want to recap from yesterday, everybody was just fighting, different people were clearing the air about different things. And then, you know, people that decided they said, okay, you guys should have yoga. So, give them yoga mass, and they did a lot of yoga. At some point, they also did some meditation. It was really serene. Some people People actually broke down kind of like cried thinking of everything that happened so people like Katharina actually shed some tears during the process and everyone just felt a bit zen yeah so afterwards and um, there were some little conversations in the house so the first one was V V is the girl seeing Neo right now but Lilo and was just complaining to her you know as co-wives now people that are in relationship with the house I just said complaining that Neo has been giving her some attitude at some point she woke up that she was really tired of sleeping so she had to leave the bed and then even asked him like if he was if he had this diary session or something like that and he was just like asked accent somehow she's like i'm a communication person like if you have a problem with me say it like not the one you're giving me attitude and you're just stressing me that you know she's puts enough energy and she actually confided in lilo that i'm actually the one that went for this guy like if left to me if i didn't do what i had done i'll be sleeping here you'll be sleeping there every day like we wouldn't even have a relationship with you know have right now and i'm, I'm confident about that like i don't have a problem with that but you can't be, you know, giving me this kind of vibe. Like, just see what's wrong with you. And then Lily was like, maybe he doesn't want to be a soft C about things. She was like, no, we actually have gone so much. There's so many things I've told him that I've never even told my mom. But he knows. Like, he should trust me enough to g tell me how he's feeling about stuff. And then stop, you know, giving me attitude. So while we were talking, um, Neo came into the room. And then Lily got up. I was like, ah, let me go and check what's on the fire. The pasta in the fire. Um, or V just got up as well. She was like, no. I think Lily was eyeing her like, you know, go back now. She's like, nope, nope, nope. And then she just walks away. Like, which kind of game is this one? You're feeling somehow, you know, say it. Stop doing all that nonsense. Okay. Oh. They're just playing up and down the whole place. You guys, you know, Lacon is like, he likes Erica. He shall does it into like play, just random talking, you know, that kind of friendship <laughs> kind of play and everything so at some point he told her that he was going to give her a ring just joke joke and then he came to the room and saw her and kid wearing on the bed and she was like i'm taking my ring back in fact i don't want it again i don't want it again i need to get my head out of this nonsense <laughs> give me my ring no and he was like he needs his lawyers and she could see that came as his lawyer like okay this is all you know they were just joking around the whole thing and kid was just looking and laughing what was erica and erica like no i don't want to give you the ring i'm still in this relationship i'm not going anywhere i'm still i'm not giving you this Ring. Mm. Cut off law. Mm. If you don't want to give us a divorce, fine. Mm. Mm. We'll be separated. We'll be separated. And they just jokes about the whole thing. And so they had their diary session. The task for their wager is a circus. Obviously, a circus is different people doing different things. Even Lacon actually thinking this way that Big Brother might want them to show some individual skills and stuff. So when he asked Big Brother, we were like, I give you a task as a team, take it as a team. Lacon had asked Big Brother if he could be freestyling for him in the diary session. Big Brother said he would think about it. This was the previous diary session he had. And he asked Big Brother how fast, Big Brother she didn't give many um, response. I don't know why he wants to freestyle there, like freestyling in the house is the same thing as freestyling to Big Brother. But then again, there's this just genuineness I see in Lacon that just makes me pity him. Like I really wouldn't mind having Lacon in the house like till the last day. Ozo's diary session, the modern was just being so emotional. I think he was just okay. He found out that Prince also likes Dengi or something. So he was just trying to confide in Big Brother. And then at some point, he was, when he finished talking, talking, he talked about other things in the house. Towards the end, Big Brother was like, do you have any other thing? And he said, Big Brother, can you just tell me if I am getting distracted? Does Big Brother think I'm getting distracted? Because I know you see and you've heard every single conversation. And the Big Brother said, are you in Big Brother's house for love or to win the money? And then he said, to win the money. Big Brother now said, focus on that. Did you come to Big Brother's house? to find love or to win just outside the house there was a conversation with Watoni, praise and tricky so they're just talking about um, alliances in the house and Watoni was saying that she's someone that has good instincts like even if she's friends with people here you guys might think ah she's friends with everyone but she knows when someone likes her she knows when someone is playing the game 
and yet the shoes my things are very different shape but yeah and then praise was like yeah that in this house or in this life there's the users and the uz so what when it was like i think i'm a uz that this isn't the first time it's happening in the in my life and then tricky too was like no you're not easy you're not easy and this tricky self man <laughs> no, i'm gonna be i'm straightforward if i'll pick it they're putting either you or badge like well things always do eventually happen nicely but yeah she knows people use her a lot and then I, there was a conversation with Eric and his babe as well, Eric and Lilo. Well, Lilo was just saying that a lot of people in this house have watched a lot of Big Brother, so she's not even feeling, she's feeling like they kind of have an edge over her. Eric was like, just be yourself. The viewers will see it and she's like, yes, yes, I just even care. Yeah, she'll just be herself and the viewers will see and they vote for her if they want to vote for her. I'm really into like your different friends. So you guys, um, by the way, who are you voting? If you're able to vote, who are you voting? Are you putting your vote? Don't forget, 18 people are up, so every vote we actually count this week. And then Nengi and Kidwaya were playing cards. You guys, you know, Lengi is always winning those. Zizi cards are being ludo. She's just sure winning. I know everybody's always saying that Lengi won, Nengi won, Nengi. So at some point, Kidwaya noticed that come, she cheated doing something. And you see the way he just reacted. Up to here. Nengi, 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 I Nengi, I Nengi. I will leave her. <laughs> Leave. And the last conversation I was worthy of notes was um okay Katrina also mentioned that she still cooks today and then she still serves some people but she's really retreating with that whole motherhood kind of thing in the house. The last conversation that was interesting was Dora and Ozo so in the room and Dora was just telling him I can see pain in your eyes. I guess with the whole triangle stuff. To be honest guys, Nengi is not really interested in this. She actually has a boo outside, so I don't even know the hurts that is in the eyes. I see the pain in your eyes. I feel like you're a very protective partner. Was that we wanted her to you know explain what she meant by the hurt and she was saying something about he's a protective partner you're not somebody that would do that uh, all my friends you know my girlfriends kind of people like okay so big brother now made them busy again at some point told them to form two groups so they formed it like black group and because a lot of them were just wearing black at some point so they just called themselves the black group and then the other people said okay they were all wear gray so they wore lots of them wore their best way gray shirts so they formed a group and then they chose team leaders and then Big Brother made them arrange your group members according to their ages and then he did another one according to their states or something. So that's it for day 10. It was a really chill day and nothing that deep happened. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please click the thumbs up button. Share with your friends if you will and then see you on the next episode. Bye bye.